Hello and welcome back to some competitive Lord of the Rings. We have Lord of the Rings accuracy. Team Bear is currently with one win and Dream Team with zero. Uh, teams are switched, however, for this case we have Icy, Mordo, Elantari as Mordor, and we have Melkor Balglir. Born as Easterlings, Rune and Umber. Then we have Marauder as Isengard. And we have Sharky as Mori and Mount Gundabad. Yes. And then we have Bear Clan with Damrod as the Elves, calling them good in this world. We have Beren, also known as Selagorm, as Gondor. And we have Arach here, uh, known as Locked, playing as the Rohan player. And then we have Polaris, whose nickname currently is Dagnir, and he is Dwarves. So let's see how this one is gonna play out. Uh, I think I need to adjust the speed slightly. Yes. Okay, now it's good. So instantly we see Thorn running out to intercept the dwarves and their escape route, but they do have a few ships there, so it's gonna be one thing to see if they flee there or not. Looks like from the last game, it's interesting to see that the elves are straight going to help the dwarves. Instead of going to Rohan or elsewhere, they're sending all, all these forward units from Mirkwood to aid at this uh, engagement here. Also, there is this bonus unit for heal in King of Wild. Okay, Harad is here then. Is it Rain Raider? What? Okay, it's King of Wrath. Why is the castle called Wayne Raider? That's interesting. Looks like another failed attempt at map making by Icy, but that's another story. There's no other major engagements yet, just this one huge battle over here. I mean, Marauder as Isengard is pushing the Helm's Deep castle, but mainly was abandoned rather really fought for. So Rohan is actually coming to Iron Hills as well. Okay, this is very interesting. So we have three players from one team and three players from the other team fighting in this top area for supremacy. If I was a purple player I would be more like relaxed about this. I wouldn't try to push out. I mean, you have the strongest castle, you have like huge amount of towers, you have this amazing joint punch, you have scorpions, you have rams, you have best infantry in the game, you can hold out there for so long and just use those towers and castle to just be annoying and just not uh, be killed. Here we have this uh, an engagement, I think, because Roder has lost 20 archers already. Looks like Ponder and Rohan managed to get a favorable cavalry charge into this uh, archer pack. Now, with 20 archers less, like, it's gonna be a lot harder for Isengard to push into Rohan now, but like the main uh, portion of this battle lies in the north here. But this tower is now going down because the castle and the towers were given up. There were, are no rams left, no scorpions because he lost a lot of his units mistakenly for trying to push out. But instead, he could just have tried and hold here and block at this point on and get a favorable advantage with the towers backing him up since he has no archers he can 
easily hold there with just the help of towers and castle. Now we see Rohan pushing into Isengard, maybe Quandor will come as well. Hilden will get some bonus units there. If he managed to get there and arrives alive. And it feels like Isengard is dead. But great player Marauder still has this uh, con area for himself and a few units once this once this Isengard goes down. Well not not good but I mean, should have tried to run here, but I guess the cavalry would have mixed in with his archers and made it a lot worse, possibly. And Sharky getting attacked by Damrod, trying to maybe get bonus units over here. Could go there instead, why is he... Well, purple gets his there, but... I would rather push for my own advantage first, I guess. This is unguarded, really unguarded, and Tyrden actually got this bonus. They don't have to kill the castle and tower, I think. Well, you shouldn't at the start, because there's no point. You do want to block the spawn. One of them is still spawning. Oh, okay. Just... Yeah, it spawns still. Still the elves up here. Much happening. Gondor didn't get attacked or what? Okay, he didn't. It's just Gondor is just chilling, and the Easterlings are finally pushing up. Looks like this didn't work out. Well. The elves are falling back from the north. I wonder if those transport ships made it. I don't think so. I think he lost all those units. Light Man of Dale. I'm not sure where Dale is actually. <laughs> is the, Dale is supposed to be here, I think. Ah, uh, Dale is like this area. Here. Ah, uh, it's here actually. Toy Factory? Yeah, this is supposed to be Dale, I think. Uh, well, these names are very weird. Have Elrond and Bilbo together. Who's this Arwen is running? Maybe trying to get this. Much, much happening here, just a few units pushing out. Meet Condorian Meat just running out from the castle and attacking. Hard to say what's actually going on here. Warrior of the Shadow trying to flank these archers, but this is not gonna work. Yep, these units are really fast. Wow, but it's not gonna work, it's, it's just a waste. Now he's pushing here. Is this a huge mistake? Does... No Thorn doesn't have any transport ship skills, okay. So maybe it's not a mistake. He can push out, but he's like spread out so much that... It's hard to actually do anything when you... Try to actually attack on multiple fronts and hope they... Oh, the ants have been, like, gained for Polaris, which is really good. So, what's gonna happen here? What is this plan? He can't kill the captains, the captains have too much HP. And they're in the castle now, so... Uh, okay, interesting. So we have Frodo, right? Frodo. Oh, this is a light soldier. Why did I think it's Frodo? We can't. How did they do it? They're just running around, and now East Rings are finally attacking. Favorable range with, against the Plumes with 8 range only. Does he have rams? He does not. Boromir's rangers were, were forgotten. It was the Gilead. Which is a 
think. Shock is pushing down. Gonna take down Lorien, I guess. Go. Maybe favorable cavalry charge. Let's see here. Pain and. Okay. okay, he's now retreating. And Condor is gonna get a huge attack. There's now. Three groups of archers, a lot of it. A lot of navy as well, a lot of elephants. This is gonna be a huge attack, I feel like. And another attack is. It's gonna be the. Another major attack is in Rohan. If you like. What is this? Why are there no archers? Just running around with this. Infantry units and. Uh, just. suiciding them basically. Ah, so the. Usual back and forth here. Because Isengard is dead, there is no. You can use these, but then you. Like. Uh, you, you, can be, you can be exploited as well if you use this to attack Rohan. Give up those bonus units. Don't get the badge. It's gonna happen here, so. Feels like Gondor is gonna just flat out fall. Rams, okay, with the delay they're gonna be used. Why you keep killing the units I just block your spawn? Marauder <laughs> is being annoying to lock. And what's this? A huge cavalry charge into all of these archers. Are they gonna be blocked? Not entirely. I mean, they are doing a fair bit of damage, but it feels like not enough. But the elephants are gonna finally like switch the battle as well, and this is gonna be the huge push now. Okay, the, yeah, he had the army of death very much. This is gonna be the huge push. Muma killed the trolls. They're gonna sweep down there and just clear a lot of this area. Same time. Looks like through the through the forest, Emerald has arrived. Archers distract some of this fence. What do we see here In skirmishers, In cavalry, and archers and dragons. I still feel like you should just. Oh, the ants have arrived. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Two of them are arguing about spawn plucking. And we're gonna delay this fence. It's interesting. I would just flat out kill, kill Gondor and push uh, like down here, go to all the way to the Shire. You don't have to go through Rohan, really. Like, sure, you have Edora's Festival and all these semi important places and spawn for Orange there, but you, you, know, you can avoid it. You don't have to go through this small gap or you don't have to use this. Well, Steven can easily open this, so or maybe you want to open that actually. North is holding. What's gonna happen here? Is there any navy? Yeah, there is navy. Maybe try to land and attack this area at the same time. Lebanon is falling. Okay. Well, okay, now it seems like Thorn is actually now committing to this. Push to Condor. It's good, I think. Do it. Rhoda is uh, five. 
What is their plan? What is their game plan for the goodies? I, I'm not sure. They're like they're kind of split up and all over the place. I guess you have this quick access through here, but he can try and rush this area and block it. So he splits up two of his sides. You could then try to transport through Isengard, but it, okay. So now. Shark is actually gonna do something. Maybe he's now gonna try actually split these two armies up from the good side. You have this side and you have this side. One of if you block uh, this side, if you block the units in Rohan, then Mordor and someone else can clear these out. Possibly. It's interesting. See what's gonna happen. It's gonna take this castle down, really no. Probably not. Four floors. There's trolls. What's gonna happen here? Why are they still pushing into this rune area? Is there a bonus unit here? Yeah, there is. Bring Dane the second for a group of axemen. Not too amused by that, but I guess you can get it. I would rather try. Okay, this was taken, but this I would try to get this first, and maybe then go into rune. You have this huge army there that you have to deal with. So if you push into rune, you get easily trapped. And Condor is gonna get pushed back again. Well, to be honest, Condor is dead, it's just being protected by elves and the dwarves, apparently. There is not much left, you can say. And we have Ringa Zog here. Some units. Units are idling to do something. It's hard to say who has the advantage at this point. Who yeah. hasn't used his king yet? Should do that as soon as possible. But it's hard to see one message pop up in the corner of the screen and then react to it if you're fighting as well. So what's going on here? You're gonna kill Dunhar. Archers are slightly lagging behind, it seems. Send them sooner. Well, not sooner, but with the army actually. Now he lost his light pack to a cost archer pack and the cavalry archer pack. Also, this prudent tower that should have been destroyed a long time ago. Uh, meanwhile, Thorn and Marauder are pushing. Pushing through, pushing into Wood Hall, is that a place? Grey Heavens, that's a place. And then Blue Mountains as well. We're gonna. Basically, you could say that these two forces are separated. I feel like they have no plan of actually uniting those troops. So you're fighting divided paddles, which is not good. For the good side, because the good side has always less units than the evil side. But they're not now going back. Why are they going back? Is he gonna trans? Possible. He's he's walking on the shallows. It looks like he wants to use his transport ships and maybe make this. Or okay, he's gonna hold the choke point. He could try and land. And now deal. He was taking down one of the castles and freed them. But I think Lord, I think Lurtz is dead. Because Lurtz starts in Isengard. He's probably long dead. So Isengard was cleared out at the start of the game. So what 
what is gonna happen? We still have two separate armies. I think Darky needs to do something. He's the guy who is like he's the guy who has the you needs to do something. Everyone else is in place. I feel like everyone else is waiting for Sharky. Sharky has to make this move, has to Goblin archers, multi golden trolls, send them down here, just attack, then Thorn then can attack at the same time here. And since he has so many units actually, he has this other pack of archers and some meat and other things as well, he can even go behind these guys in Rohan and just try to do something but doesn't feel like he's doing much now, he's sending the trolls in alone. I'm not sure what to think of this. Doesn't sound too promising because Hostile 3 is gonna... I know. And this castle is gonna fuck me. Both of these castles are gonna be annoying. Ah, uh, but now Rohan had to divide his archers. And Rohan has to divide forces. He either goes here, tries to help, splits this units even up more, and makes Rohan weak, or he stays in Rohan and lets his allies fight Thorn and Sharky alone. This is. I feel like. Come on, Sharky, do something. You have to do something. Don't let it just be Icy who's doing stuff. I mean, Icy has it really well prepared. He wants to. Uh, no, he missed his chance, but I guess, I guess it's fine. He has this cavalry here waiting to just clean out the meat and the lights to be ready to charge those elf archers. Now it won't happen. Because he went out. But he can take the castle now. If the archers are outside the actual base, then it's just very easy to go in. Where are Pippin are gonna be? Suicide if they're not. Just gonna be left there. Doesn't seem too nice of an idea. You can use them in an army, like, like a hero group. You can do some work. That's what I would do. Bonus units? Yeah, he X the bonus units. Wants to get him. Ah, now he moved them out. Okay, I get. Can open this with Theodon. Do they have Frodo? Don't know actually who controls Frodo. Is it Blue or is it uh, someone else? Is this the other one? Yes, he's gonna... Ah, oh, he's gonna chill outside the castle. Really small skirmishers, no one is pushing. Sharky has to do something. Oh, but... Looks like the good... The good team, the goodies, they're gonna do something instead. They're gonna try and... Push to Mordor and uh, get their bonus units there, I think. They're gonna make a mortal rush, and Icy has to fall back as fast as possible. This, they're gonna get these. They're gonna get these. I feel like werewolves. Okay, this is protected, kinda. Brother can't just try, run in. That's one thing. Then we have some orcs. Okay, there. Pond is being. Instantly moved into Mordor. This back base here is being instantly sent to protect Mordor. I feel like this rush can be either really good or really bad, but the goodies had the advantage because the baddies were really out of position, and which is really nice that Polaris has blocked off these archers and they can't enter the base. He, he Bought so much time for his team right there by blocking off this gate. 
and now he has to I see has to take the long way around and same time all Flores' allies are getting into murder. But what is happening here? What is happening? Warriors of the Shadow, the elves are fighting a huge army from Sharky and Icy and some units from Korn as well. There's still units coming. Not fast enough. This is gonna get cleaned up, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna be destroyed by these fell beasts in Austria. Wasn't good enough. Not enough time was bought because this army blocked this entrance. Maybe you should have gone all units to this gate instead of sending pur purple sensitive units here. Like, I'm not sure how many units he had, but he did have a fair bit, like 80 units over here. If everyone had used this gate, perhaps. Because okay, they have they have resigned. They have called GG. They failed the rush. Yes, it's GG. Yeah. Mortar mortar player I see was the closest after uh, Marauder and his con units to actually go into mortar and assist the defense. If they had. If they had gone completely, maybe send the cavalry here, send the cavalry here, take down these gates to delay this huge force that was coming from Sharky and some other players. Delay it, just to delay it, and send every other unit here to fight this uh, retreating uh, order units because. If you block this area, this shallows completely off. Mordor can't actually defend itself. His units were all the way over here. He had this long passage to go. He had to go all this way to here. And then if if you block this shallow area instead of this gate only, with some more units over here, you can push into Mordor from this angle. Get you can get these. Um, Bonus units right here. Uh, you take this shallow area, you stream into mortar from this angle, and you have this cavalry uh, holding this. And then at some stage, it's gonna enter this place. But because all a lot of the infantry was slow and was like falling behind, instead of sending the infantry over here. You could send the infantry over here to support and possibly not get killed off because if you send initially more units here, the retreating mortar units will be outnumbered. So you could have a favorable battle over here and then go into mortar from here and secure this, these and these bonus units easier, I guess. At least that is. What I feel like would have happened instead of trying to use this entrance instead, because Heal was the main contestant for this entrance, and since he had these dragons, he had this um, man of darkness. Yeah, he had he had a lot of cavalry himself, so he was able to come here slightly quicker than other players. His Units, but eventually he got the infantry as well and the archers arriving there, which I think uh, sealed the deal because he eventually stopped like these uh, reinforcements going into the mortar base and they actually had to just fight on the shallow areas over here. Or maybe if you don't even try to fight this. If you're a good player, just all the units that got here, you just send here in here as soon as possible into mortar, and just you, you ignore the deal player, and the reinforcements go this way instead. That's a, also an option, but I'm not sure how that would work. I guess you would have more units here in this area fighting, but. Feel like you don't you don't want to 
high teal at all. Want to want to do it like you don't want to engage with all of the players. You want to avoid some of the players. That's the point of the rushing. You make a better move and you avoid like 500 units and then fight 200 units instead. But what is interesting as well is that at the same time Thorn was actually pushing into Grey Heavens and the Blue Mountains, so this Sam was gonna die. So that's one of the win conditions gone. But I guess the rush was like this last resort effort maybe. So maybe this doesn't even matter too much. Maybe you don't even have to attack this. Yeah. This is how this uh, game went. I feel like I feel like the rush could have been a bit better from this gate instead of blocking retreating mortar units instead of uh, focusing more on this area. But that's just my opinion. Okay, let's see the kills then. Okay, kill death. Selagorum, not so good. Darky, not so good. Tomrod should be better. He's the elves, he has the best archers. Thorn doing really good for his uh, uh, civilization. As a battle player, it's hard to see. Well, uh, not hard to see, but it's unusual or rare. It's rarer to see that you have positive kill death ratio. Roller as well, positive kill ratio, and he has even more kills. And to be honest, he has the most kills in the baddie team. Then we have Polaris with a decent amount of kills, I guess. He's the dwarf, no archers. I guess that's fair. Could be better. Arguably, dwarves are best fighting with close range infantry and stopping rushes because. If you use cavalry charge and you have dwarves waiting for that, then it's easy. It's easy to block that. Very easy. Okay, what else do we have? What do we have? We have. I see. I guess this is decent for mortar. Mortar has a lot of meat. So you expect to get this. Usually, you get most units lost. In every game and he has a fair amount of kills and then we have locked with the most kills for the good side uh, I, I assume so because he had his cavalry archer pack life so long and he was able to use it but um, there is this uh, maybe a hundred kills is you could say it was feeding off the spawn of Isengard because in the game we saw this discussion between Marauder and Locked about the spawn blocking issue and he did probably get a fair amount of kills from that situation as well. It's hard to say how many but maybe two groups, three groups, maybe possibly not four because it the issue wasn't that long, it was like was only in in mid game and and it, it didn't last long but yeah this was uh, game two so the victory is going for the, the dream team so it's 1-1 and I have one more game to show so which is gonna be uploaded soon